Thanks for joining us on Denver 7 News at 11. I'm Molly Hendrickson. And I'm Brian Sanders. Right now, hundreds of Broncos fans are filing into Broncos Stadium to pay their respects to Pat Bowling. The longtime owner of the Denver Broncos is being remembered as a great leader, but also a friend to the fans and the community. Denver 7's Nicole Brady is live inside Broncos Stadium. And Nicole, what's the mood like there? Well, Molly and Brian, this was supposed to be a celebration of life today, and the mood is somewhat somber, but I would say fans here are really grateful that they were able to come here today to Broncos Stadium and say thank you to Mr. B. And the Broncos are also saying thank you to the fans. We saw President Joe Ellis downstairs greeting people as they walked in. We know the Bolin family is also here inside thanking people. Now, once inside the tribute, once uh, they get through this line, fans We'll see over 200 pieces of memorabilia celebrating Pat Bolin. Some of this will only be on display today. Now, of course, there are the trophies and the rings, including the one from Super Bowl 50. There's Pat's Pro Football Hall of Fame jacket. He'll be inducted in Canton in August, of course. There's a recreation of his working desk, uh, complete with a to-do list on it. Very simple, three things, just a testament to his winning drive. And then we also see the softer side of Pat Bolin, his uh, pictures, his family photos, wedding pictures, pics with his grandkids. We have not really heard anyone say a bad word about him ever. And fans we spoke today, clearly not just Broncos fans, but they're truly Pat Bowlen fans. He always kept it very fan friendly. You were always easy, easy access to the players, easy access to get autographs, easy access to take pictures. And he always kept it real fan friendly and I appreciated that. Well, not just the fans, but the community. I mean, all the things he did for charity, all the things he did to give back to the community. He's just really, really special. And I don't know that there's gonna be another one like him. Yeah, hard to imagine anyone really filling those shoes 35 years as the team's owner. Now, if you want to come out, there is still plenty of time. This uh, will be happening here at Broncos Stadium until 3 p.m. today. Lines are long, but they're moving fast, and it's a very friendly spirit. A lot of orange and blue, a lot of fans here to reminisce with. A private funeral will be held for Pat Bowlin next Monday. We're live at Broncos Stadium. Nicole Brady, Denver 7. What a great example of the impact that he's had on so many people. Quite the legacy he leaves behind. Thank you, Nicole. The team will pay tribute to Pat Bolin on the field this season. These are the decals the players will wear on their helmets. They say Mr. B in Broncos blue. CEO Joe Ellis says he doesn't think Bolin would want to be attached to a helmet, but he says the team owes it to him to honor him that way. Today will be another emotional day for the Bolin family, and we expect to hear from them today for the first time since his passing. And this is a live look as the Bolin family greets fans out at Mile High. Denver 7's Troy Rank is standing by to sit down with them for an interview. We're going to bring that to you later today here on Denver 7 and on the DenverChannel.com. Also, make sure you tune in to Denver 7 this evening at 630. We will air a Pat Bolin Remembrance Special right after Denver 7 News at 6. We'll look back at the life and accomplishments of Pat Bolin. If you can't make it out to Bronco Stadium today, you can still watch full coverage of today's Remembrance Celebration on our digital platforms. We're streaming the event in its entirety on our Denver 7 apps for Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Also on our Denver 7 social media accounts and on the DenverChannel.com.